In this video, I will teach you how to capture the name of a worksheet tab using a formula in Microsoft Excel. Before I show you the formula, first I want to show you another formula, which is used to retrieve the name of the directory in which a workbook is stored. And that formula is as follows. It's on the screen right now. So here's how the formula goes. Equal sign, cell, then open parentheses, then double quotation, and then we put the word file name within double quotations. And that gives us the name of the directory in which, in this case, this particular workbook is stored. And as you can see, this workbook is stored on my desktop. And this over here is the name of the workbook within closed brackets. Followed by the closing bracket, we have the name of a particular tab. In this case, the name of the tab is Revenue Week to Date. And that name is displayed at the tail end over here. And now that I've showed you this, I want to show you the formula used to retrieve the name of a tab using a formula in Excel. And here's what that formula looks like. So we need to use the MID formula, which consists of three arguments. The first argument is the name of the text to extract from. The second argument is the location of the first character to extract from. And finally, the last argument is the number of characters to be extracted. As you can see, the first argument here is the cell file name, which is basically the name of the text to extract from. And the second argument is the location of the first character to be extracted. And the location of the first character to be extracted in this case is the closing bracket over here, which needs to be incremented by one character in order for us to get the tab name, which is at the tail end. And finally, the last argument is 31 here, which is the number of characters to be extracted. So the maximum length of a tab name in Excel is 31. That's why I put 31 as my last argument. And this way, the full tab name will be captured by this formula. And as you can see over here, this formula has correctly given us the name of this particular tab without us needing to type it within the cell. And we can always apply this formula to a different tab as well. So let me just copy this formula and apply it to a different tab and see what we get. As you can see, if I just paste this formula within a different tab, this time I get the name of this new tab. And this is how we can use a formula in order to capture the name of a worksheet tab in Microsoft Excel. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye now.